Sean, did Alvin suffer any kind of setbacks this week, or is he just gradually nope. working back? Yeah, nothing. Sean, just throughout the year, how have you seen Landon Young progress and, and grow and pick things up, just being around and being in the boat? Look, he's he's done a good job. I mean, he's uh, smart. You know, a guy that is knows what what to do and you know provides a good role for us as a backup. I, I don't know if they mentioned on the broadcast or where it generated, but a lot of people became aware that you guys have missed eight straight two point conversions. Is that something you guys have been aware of? No, I, I, I we're aware of it. And some of it is situational, and obviously the two point conversion. Mm -hmm. You know, to tie the game last week goes to, you know, a normal game. When you have a penalty, you're probably kicking it. But obviously, we had to go for it. But, yeah, we, we pay attention to that. Is there a rhyme or reason to that? That's something you kind of No, listen, to. yeah, I, I think you, you got to look at, you know, play, execution. But we've looked at them. So what do you kind of say to Baltic Scott? Yeah, he's, listen, he's uh, a guy that we, we really like and uh, – it's good to see him doing well, uh, although it's somewhere else. But um, you know, he's a great person and a, a good teammate. You know, someone that yeah, you know, I think uh, endears himself to his teammates well. So, what are some things you remember about Devontae Smith when you got him? Um, we were there. I was there. A group of us were there for the pro day. It was real impressive. Uh, he's an impressive guy. Talking with him, smart. He's a an exceptional route runner. You know his transition speed. I mean, his pro day was was pretty impressive, and then you just have to put the tape on. Um, you know, he he was our top receiver by far, and and you just uh, you just had to just watch the tape, you know. Um, but he he's someone that I felt was explosive off the ball, transitioned well for someone you know his height, and uh, you know it's it's been a good pick. Thought process on bringing Brett Maher back? Um, well, look, we know the player. He was injured when he was here last, and so the injury is what kept him. Um, so it has more to do with our um, comfort level with him and our experience with him. So, with a guy like Deontay, like, when a player that size knows how to use their size, can it be an advantage just as far as like elusiveness and, and things like yeah, that? Yeah, I think the key um, is just the balance of how many. You know, there's a point of too many reps, but but absolutely, he's a, he, here's the other thing. He, he's ex, he's extremely smart. You know, so when he's doing something during a play, it's rarely the wrong thing. You know, so he he's got good football awareness, um, and then it's just you know looking at special team reps, offensive reps, and, and finding that correct pitch count where it's not too high. Do you see teams struggle to? defend him, whether that's give him too much space or not enough? Well, like, look, sometimes you have to do something with your formation to give him space so that he's not always getting jammed off the line of scrimmage. He is quick. Um, and I, I I said this before, speed separates, but, but also your ability to stop fast can separate. And that's one trait he has. He can, he can run and then stop very quickly. And that um, is, a, is a really good asset for him. Can that be a learned trait, or is that more of a, a natural thing? Um, it, it's not a learned trait. It can be acquired through strength. And, you know, you can, let's say you run whatever you run, but it, by developing your lower body, and that means, you know, a lot of squats, a lot of lifting, you can actually become quicker, if you will, stop quicker. Yes. Um, but I, I wouldn't say it's learned as much as it is um, developed.